Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the road trip themed trivia game that you can play in the car, you can play it by yourself, you can play it at home, you can play it with friends, however you want to play it is okay with me. You can keep score if you'd like, I will read the questions, you answer the questions, there are 20 questions up front, there's a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. This is day 354 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Let's get started with question number one. Located on the former side of the Astor Mansion and the old Waldorf Astoria Hotel, what is the name of the most famous architectural creation of Shreve Lamb and Harmon, whose top was designed as a mooring mast for dirigibles? Shreve, Lamb, and Harmon was the architectural firm that designed the Empire State Building. Question number two, its rhyming scheme could be A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, C, D, E, C, D, E. What is the name for this single stanza 14 line poem written in iambic pentameter of which Shakespeare wrote many? We're looking for the name of that type of poem. Shakespeare was famous for his sonnets. Sonnet is the answer. Question number three. What is the title of the 1939 John Steinbeck novel that featured Tom Joad and his family that deals with people moving from the Dust Bowl to California during the Great Depression? John Steinbeck wrote several notable novels. What is the title of this one about Tom Joad and his family? The answer is The Grapes of Wrath. Question number four. An adult has about 25 trillion. They are formed in bone marrow and are destroyed in the spleen. What are these cells, also called erythrocytes, that are disc-shaped cells transporting oxygen in the body? Made in bone marrow, destroyed in the spleen, the answer is red blood cells. Question number five. A genetically advanced warrior given Mark VI armor in the second version of the game, he is also known as Spartan 117, or simply, John. What is the most used name for this super soldier who fights against the Covenant in Halo and its sequels? The Halo TV show is in its second season right now. We've been watching a lot of it. The answer is Master Chief. Spartan 117 is the Master Chief. Question number six. His autobiography has a reversible dust jacket so that it can be disguised as The Luckiest Kids in the World Book One, The Pony Party by Loney M. Setnick. What is the name of this author of a series of unfortunate events? The pen name of Daniel Handler. It's not actually Loney M. Setnick, it is Lemony Snicket. Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events. Question number seven. Arranged in decreasing order of size, beefsteak, then medium, then plum, and then cherry, those are four of its most basic varieties. What is the name of this common home garden crop? feel like we've had one similar to this before and I feel like beefsteak always gives it away. That is the tomato. The big old beefsteak tomatoes. Question number eight. In the Chronicles of Narnia, what type of dessert does Jadis, the White Witch, enchant and give to Edmund so that he will become desperate for more and will be willing to do anything for her? A 
a popular treat around Christmas? The answer is the Turkish Delight. Question number nine. The unfortunate resting place of drowned sailors is said to be his locker. Who is this character that, in Pirates of the Caribbean movies, has tentacles for a beard and captains the Flying Dutchman? Descriptions of him vary, but in the Disney Pirates of the Caribbean, he's got the face tentacles. The answer is Davy Jones. It's Davy Jones's locker. Question number 10. It was given a whimsical name in 1937 by Milton Serrata, the young nephew of the American mathematician Edward Kasner. A Google is the number one followed by how many zeros? Don't confuse Google with Googleplex. That's a different number. Just the simple Google is the number one followed by 100 zeros. Question number 11. The Austrian monk Gregor Mendel introduced the idea of heredity through a series of successful genetic experiments. What common garden plant did Mendel famously use in his studies? I've got the regular name for this garden plant and the scientific name. Bonus points if you get the scientific name. The answer is the Pisum sativum, or the pea, the common garden pea. Question number 12. The second chapter of the Gospel according to John begins with Jesus performing a miracle at Cana during a feast. What transformation did Jesus perform involving two different beverages? If you guessed the Coke vs. Pepsi challenge, you're wrong. The answer is that he turned water into wine. Question number 13. In the field of chemistry, what is the adjective that literally translates to water-fearing, that describes molecules that are not polar and therefore do not dissolve in water? I believe it comes from Latin, meaning water-fearing. Water-fearing or hydrophobic. Hydrophobic is the answer. Question number 14. Four of its members went to junior high together in Los Angeles, and this group toured with the Rolling Stones in 2005. What is the name of this band fronted by Adam Levine with the album Songs About Jane and singles Must Get Out and This Love? Fronted by Adam Levine, the answer is Maroon 5. Question number 15. The Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921 was awarded to what man for his services to theoretical physics and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect? This man is known for a lot of things, and the discovery of the photoelectric effect probably isn't at the top of your list. The answer is Albert Einstein. Question number 16. The picture of Dorian Gray was featured in this 2003 film based on an Alan Moore comic book. What was the title of this film that also included characters like The Invisible Man, Tom Sawyer, and Captain Nemo. This is one of Abby's favorite movies growing up. I think just because she liked the actor Shane West. The answer is The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Question number 17. The United States, United Kingdom, Soviet Union, and China were known as the Big Four during the Second World War. 
Joseph Stalin and Chiang Kai-shek led the Soviet Union and China, and what two men led the US and the UK? The answer is Franklin Roosevelt and Winston Churchill. Question number 18. If you were to take two toy pyramids with square bases and join them so the bases are glued together, what term describes the resulting polyhedron that has eight faces? You should be able to work this one out if you know your Latin. If it has eight faces, it is an octahedron. Question number 19. George, Elaine, Kramer, and Jerry end up in a Massachusetts jail after having broken a Good Samaritan law in the 1998 final episode of what American sitcom television series that was created by Larry David? The answer is Seinfeld. And question 20. A condition where the membrane swells against the eye's cornea, the acute form of conjunctivitis is commonly known as what colorful condition that is highly contagious, so students who catch it are often immediately sent home. When you call it a colorful condition, it almost sounds fun, but it's not. The answer is pink eye. Pink eye is no joke. And that wraps up the first part of today's quiz. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Before we get to the final part, which is the tiebreaker question, which will come up in about 30 seconds, I just want to say today's episode is brought to you by Jeannie and Dave. Unofficially, of course. You can see here Abby is modeling the baby wrap that they got for us when little Quizlet was born. The reason I say today's episode was brought to you by Jeannie and Dave is because typing and working on the computer is very difficult with one hand. So having this baby wrap actually makes it very easy for me to sit at the computer and get trivia done. So I don't know if I would have had this episode done when I did if it wasn't for this super cool baby wrap. That's a little Quizlet there in the middle. Uh, yes. So thank you again, Jeannie and Dave. You guys are all right. Now, let's get on with the tiebreaker question. Question 21 today, whichever person gets closest to this is going to win the point. Question number 21. The first World Series of Poker at Binion's Horseshoe took place as a series of cash games that included five card stud, deuce to seven low ball draw, Raz, seven card stud, and Texas Hold'em. In what year did the first official WSOP take place? The first WSOP took place in 1970. So whichever player got closest to 1970 is going to win the point. If it was a tie, and that was actually the winning tiebreaker question, that person just won the whole game. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on today's episode. We'll see you next time.